In a previous video, I shared how to get better at photography. But in this video, I want to talk about how to get better at anything that you're passionate about. Hey, this is Scott Weidenkiewicz, a storyteller with a camera talking about all the things photographers like you and I are thinking about. And in this video, we're going to talk about getting better at the crafts, the work that you do no matter what it is. So here's the thing. Not only am I into photography, but I'm into a lot of other things. I also do a lot of other things besides photography. I mean, my full-time job is with Imagely, and I do social media marketing, email marketing, video content. I also have a podcast, an audio and video podcast for Imagely, talking about photography websites and online marketing for photographers. Click the card right there if you'd like to subscribe. I also have this YouTube channel where I create a ton of content. In my photography business, I also have a podcast where I talk about local New Jersey brands and what they're doing that's good or bad and how they could improve. Of course, there's a lot going on in my world and your world, and so let's just quickly dive into how you can get better at what you're passionate about, the craft, the task that you're doing at any given time. The way that you can get better is by actually paying attention and consuming the content from those that you want to do things like. Let's dig into that a little bit. I mentioned that I have a podcast. Yes, I have a podcast where I both interview guests and have solo episodes. So what I do to improve my podcasting skills as a podcast host is to listen and watch other podcasts. But here's the thing. I don't necessarily listen to other podcasts in the photography and online marketing or photography website genre. So what I do is I actually am a subscriber to a many, many different podcasts, many of which are actually from Gimlet Media, which is now a Spotify company. I love startup, and I love the pitch, and I love all, uh, so many. Science Versus, amazing. So many of their podcasts are incredible. But I also listen to a bunch of karate podcasts because I am also passionate about karate. I am a karate student, so I listen to karate podcasts, and two of which I want to mention real quick that I listen to. One is the Whistlekick podcast. Whistlekick is a company who makes sparring gear and things like that for karate students. And the owner of the company has a podcast and the way that he talks, I really enjoy it. It's calming, it's not obtrusive, and it's easy to listen to. And when he has a guest on, he lets the guest talk a lot. The other podcast is Fight for a Happy Life from Sensei Ando. And I love that podcast. I love the way that Sensei Ando actually speaks. I think he also has a very calming voice, and he is actually, his background is in writing, so he takes his writing skills and brings it into the words that he says on the show. I really enjoy those because it makes me relax more, especially when I'm talking solo on a solo episode. So I take a lot of what I learned from from the Whistlekick podcast and the guests and put it into my guest episodes, the solo episodes, Fight for a Happy Life. I put that into the solo episodes of my podcast. When it comes to this YouTube channel right here, I don't always wanna do what other people are doing in the photography space, but I do pay attention to those as well. Some of the YouTube channels that I like subscribing to and watching pretty much every episode is Peter McKinnon's YouTube channel and Casey Neistat's YouTube channel. Both are very inspirational and get me wanting to do more on my YouTube channel and learn more about videography and how really I can utilize in-camera work and post-processing to make my videos better. But I also pay attention to karate channels on YouTube and other genres as well. Because no matter what, if I'm consuming content that I enjoy, it's gonna help me do better. One of the karate channels I watch is Art of the Dojo. But what I really like about that is it's also a very calming, it's, it's done in a very professional style, but it's also a little informal, so there's a lot of uh, funny things going on in it. And the lighting is actually really nice. They did a great job with lighting the karate studio, which is the set for the videos. So no matter what you do, whether it's writing, whether it's podcasting, creating video content, whatever it is, race car driving, whatever it is, watch, do, pay attention to other content, other things in that same genre, but also in a different genre, because that is one way that you will get better subconsciously. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, I publish new videos every Monday and Thursday, whenever possible, you don't want to miss it. So click that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and you will know next time there is a video.